Robert. Hey, John, how you doing? Good. Um, I watched Seven Cemeteries this morning, actually. I loved the hell out oh. of it. It well, was so you. much fun. Well, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. So um, I know that you came up with the story. How did this story come about for this one? Well, okay, well, it was, it was Joel and I, Joel Swasson. Um, I've worked with him in the past as a as a producer and, and everything. Um, so we, we worked on the story. We just wanted, it was, well, first of all, it was going to be a film, whatever it was, with Danny. And uh, so so then the whole uh, uh, seven uh, samurai, you know, thing kind of, you know, kind of bubbled up and magnificent seven. And then then I love that trope of the guy who gets out of jail. So stuck that in. And uh, originally, maybe it was going to all be in Spanish, but then that didn't work out. And and uh, but but we have a lot of it in there, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, Spanish. Um, um, Mexican culture, the luchadors, uh, that kind of thing, the bruja. Um, we we just wanted to have it, yeah. Mexican culture, Danny Trejo, Seven Samurai. That's awesome. And speaking, Danny Trejo is like I think to this day the hardest working man in show business. And I know he just calls it work, but he, I just. I every time I see him on screen, I just it doesn't matter what role he takes, he just electrifies and he does it. He he does it with this film as well. <laughs> got he's got the face. Yeah, he he gives the face, you know. And um, he's a really sweet guy. Uh, I read his book. Um, as a youngster, you know, he was he was a hardcore criminal, and mm -hmm. uh, and an addict and everything. And he has so turned his life around uh, that because um, I'm always going, he's always going, telling me something. I go, I know, I know. I read your book. And uh, uh, <laughs> but but, you know, if he can do it, you know, really, it, it just shows that any, anybody, you know, can if they put in the, you know, the 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 time and the heart to to change, you know, because. Because now he's top of the world, and um, I have his cookbook too. Uh, <laughs> I've seen his documentary, so you know, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's pretty wild. He was on death row uh, a little bit because he was involved in a prison riot. So, so to go from there to uh, seven cemeteries, uh, quite a, quite a, quite a ride. Yeah. Aside from Danny, I also loved Sal Lopez as El Abuelo. I've been a fan of his for so many years. Like, I can go all the way back to Midnight Madness when he played uh, one of the blue team members because I've seen his some of the stuff too. But here, he was so, so good. He was so fun to watch because I love the, the my favorite scene was him with Efren as Miguel and he's playing the accordion as the during the interrogation scene. I like to know where that idea came from because that was one of my favorite scenes of the film. I, the accordion i don't know I, I actually played the accordion um but um i'm not sure where the accordion came from you know may have been joel you know just that 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 you know something from left field you know there um uh we, we tried to make it sound as is you know because obviously sal can't play the accordion yeah. but i think it sounds like he does um uh, <laughs> But that whole thing with with uh, with Ephraim and the guns and and all that kind of stuff, you know, and the wind was blowing so hard. Oh my gosh, uh, I th I thought it worked out pretty well. Um, <laughs> you know, this was we shot all this. Well, I don't want to say something bad, but it was right before Rust. Okay, and uh, you know, we have so many guns uh, in there. Um, you're just like, oh my god, you know, thank goodness nothing went wrong. You yeah, know, you just, you just, you know, you break out in sweats because you know, in, in in movies we use real guns. You know, it's just, it's just something that you do. You know, and uh, but it's just you, you know, literally had a little break. Break. I literally broke out in sweats over all this. You know, the, <laughs> and was, we had a great guy you know, on set with the guns and very, 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 very safe. In fact, you know, 
So yeah, not just guns. I mean, even the stunts were were so much fun because you have one guy doing martial arts, you had the luchadors, you know. Oh, love oh, that. that was so the, the martial arts guy, Mickey Koga. Yeah, he's he's like an action star in 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 China or something, and 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 uh, it's amazing because um, you just never know where people are going to come from, you know. Because I only knew him from from you know he sent a tape, and you know you go, oh yeah, this guy's you know would be good, you know. Cause you don't really know. The very first day that he worked on the set, all he did was stand up from a table and go look out a little window. And and all of us, the camera crew and I just all went, wow. You know, we were just, we, you know, we could tell right off the bat, this guy, you know, is so, so deep uh, and, and, and committed. Um, said all he had to do was stand up and look out a window and we were just, our jaws dropped. It was just, it was like that. You know, I, I mean, I hate to say all this kind of stuff when it's, like some little, you know, zombie movies, but it's just, you know, you approach it like it's it's gone with the wind. Oh, I hated gone with the wind, but so I shouldn't have said that, but but uh you you do approach it like that, you know, the best you can. And 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 yeah, Mickey, Sal, they're all so great, Ephraim. Yeah, Maria. I mean, I think I think this one. Yeah. Would- one of the best, yeah. Maria was so much fun as the the Bruja, and of course, you know, everyone's gonna probably say, you know, is this what happened to Wizards or Waverly Place? Is this what happened to her like afterwards? Like, <laughs> that's a good question. But overall, this was such a fun movie. I think people definitely need to see this when it comes out on October 11th because this. I mean, we need more horror comedies, and we're getting we're getting more horror comedies now. But this was one of the most fun ones I have seen. And I hope people will get to check this one out. So finally, what's next for you after this? Well, I, I have a script. Uh, and and I, a, a fella called up and said, hey, if you can pitch me on this, uh, I'll fund it the next day. Well, the next day came and went. Uh, but now I have a script. So uh, so we'll see. You know, yeah. hopefully it'll all just work out, you know, and uh, we'll just make this movie. Um, so... Yeah, well, and who knows? I mean, if this movie does well, maybe maybe, maybe, a, maybe we might even see the return. Maybe possibly a sequel to Seven Cemeteries. Possibly if things go well, I'm hoping so. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed because well, that would be awesome. Yeah, because I had I had so much fun with this movie. And I hope people will too. I mean, the cast, the just the whole story, everything was just so much fun. And so everyone check out seven cemeteries on October 11th. And John, thank you so much for taking the time to talk about it. Thank you, man. All right. You stay awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>